And we're live. Hello and welcome to another live demonstration. As part of the Back to Basics series, I'd like to introduce you to new products on the market or maybe reintroduce you to some things. So these are canvases. These are the Windsor & Newton professional canvas range which they've intro introduced and I will talk about them and I'll show you some of the unique features on them. So they come in the chunky which is nicely wrapped around. Um, wrapped around a kiln dry pine frame which is, won't warp um, and you can see they're stapled on the back giving you the side to be used as you wish. Um, hand tightened to give a really even and good tension on the canvas. They're cotton, so nice quality. Um, like I said, they've got the chunky range, they have the stretch range and they have these lovely little tags on the back um, which you can use and fill in your details and, on a completed painting. Um, acid free, archival, um, gesso primed, so a good quality professional canvas. So what is unusual about these? There's a couple of things and I'm going to show you on this canvas. Firstly, they've brought out a smooth canvas range and I don't know if Gary can zoom in and see how really finely woven this cotton is. It's really nice. And what I'll do is I'll do some swatches on them and we can see if we can really see the feel when I put some acrylic on. So this is the stretch range and an absolutely wonderfully smooth canvas. I'm going to turn it over um, and you can see again with the professional smooth range stapled on the back. Um, but you'll see they have pro, what are they called? Pro stretchers. Let me just have a quick check. I want to give you the right information. Yeah, pro stretcher. So a lot of canvases will come with little wooden stretchers which you need to knock in because when you're painting a canvas and you keep adding to it especially this size it tends to lose a bit of the tension it gets a li little saggy um, so you put those in at the end of your painting just to stretch the frame a little bit and again add some tension to your canvas um, you will not see them in the smaller ranges the smaller ranges don't have them and actually probably don't need them. You'll see them probably coming up to this size, you start to get these pro stretchers in. So what's unique about these? They are really easy to apply and they're, they're different to tapping in your wooden wedges and you have to work out which way they go in. These go in really easily. Now the first thing I did was when I got them was go like that and I went, oh no, because what you can't do then, is you can't push it back and it won't fit. So I was going, oops. I tried using a screwdriver and pressing this down to see if I could remove it. I couldn't. The only thing I found was I need to put my nails in and you'll see there's some teeth there. Maybe you can't see. And you just put your nails in, release the teeth and you can get it back. That did take me a few minutes of panicking going, oops, I've just ruined one, you know, but it, it literally just has to take the teeth and you can get it back. So they just simply at the end of a painting slip in there. And then a basic painting tool, a screwdriver, you just tighten like that as required. And this will give you much better tension in your canvas once it's gone um, a little loose. What I also did, I'm just going to give you another tip while I've got this on the back because um, when I had these, Gary was a little concerned because it had a dent in it. So here, it had a dent in it because I'd leaned it up against something and it had dented the canvas. Now, I'm sure a lot of you will have the same problem. It's quite easy to solve. All I did was to appease Gary and not let him shout at me anymore, was I put a little bit of water over the dent and got a hairdryer on it. And once it dries, it just takes the untreated fabric back and the dent disappears. So. A good tip for if you do dent your canvases, just put a little bit of water on the back, heat, dry it off, and it should remove that dent. Okay, so let's have a look at these canvases. Let's do some swatches on. For I had to do show you the pro stretchers first because I was turning it over and I didn't want to turn over a wet canvas. So let's have a look at the traditional finish canvas. Let's just put some 
acrylic out. I haven't put it out first because it will dry under the studio lights. And I'm going to apply it both with a painting knife. And it's a painting knife because it's got a crook in the handle. Palette knives are straight, but generically they, they can be caught either. It's not a, a big deal. Lovely creamy acrylic this is from the SAA range. And let's put it on and see if Gary can show you the texture. So that's put on with the knife and I'm just going to try a brush because this will give it another effect. There we go. I've always used this canvas and this texture. I like the texture and I find in layers, it, if you don't want such keen layers, they disappear. But one thing people will often want a smooth canvas for is really straight lines. If you put, you know, those geometric shapes, those geometric paintings, and they'll use tape to be able to create those. In these textured ones, you find sometimes, depending on how wet your acrylic is, some of the paint sneaks under the tape and cause a much more jagged line, not a smooth line. So I'm going to try on this smooth and see how smooth we can get this line. But before we do that, I'm just going to do a quick painting because I've already used this canvas. I want to see how it works in reality. So I'm just going to do a little a leaf. I'm not going to make it um, detailed. I just want to see how with a brush it works. So I've double loaded, which is a nice thing to do. Blue on one end, yellow on another. And you can see I can create a simple leaf. With acrylics, you can work many different ways and it's all about laying because it's so easy. You can see there how it just takes the colour really easily. A good quality covering paint is also makes this a little bit more simply. You can see I'm getting a jagged edge but I want to make sure it's not just me um, creating that jagged edge with a dry brush and I want to see how different it will be on the smoother surface. So very quick leaf shape. I'm not overly worried about what leaf it is. Add some texture. I actually like texture. I think it's a lot of fun. But like I say, it doesn't always work for some people's work. So I'm sure Gary's been able to show you the texture in that. So let's have a look at the smooth. I'm going to do the same thing and work with a painting knife first. Oh, wow, you can really see and feel the difference when applying that. It is so smooth. And uh, you, can, you can see it. I'm sure you really can see that difference. So let's have a look with a brush. Might need a bit more blue because I'm running out. Okay. So now, with the brush. I like to use the same tools when I'm testing something just to give yourself, you know, a good test, a good result. So here go. Oh wow, that's very soft. You still can create some texture with a dry brush. You can see here it's catching it, but look how uber smooth that is. I'm, I'm really impressed. I can really see the difference and feel the difference on that. So again, let's have a quick swatch and do a quick leaf. No particular leaf, just a leaf shape, double load. Let's just go round and up, round and up. Now, just trying to think of what I could compare it to, but it's like working on a s smooth watercolour paper. It's, it's, it's amazing. And I'm, I'm not sure if you're really picking up the differences. I'm trying to keep it the same technique, same amount of paint, but it really glides on. Gliding, that's what I'm seeing. It's wonderfully gliding. And again, sharp edges. You could still get texture, 
but it's it's very easy to disappear. And what I did want to show you was this geometric painting I was talking about earlier, where you put tape on and you go up to the tape and sometimes, depending on how rough your canvas is, it doesn't leave a clean, smooth line. So I'm going to see on the smooth canvas how well this will do. Now normally you'd let it dry, but I'm going to peel off now and peeling off at an angle away just to see how clean a line you can get. I think that's pretty successful. That's you can still see a little bit of bleeding in, but that could be uh, me or I haven't taped it down. But I think on the whole, as a quick swatch, that is a really clean line um, compared to some of the broken line you get from here. So that is the Windsor & Newton professional canvases, smooth and the traditional um, cotton, both cotton, traditional texture. So I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you get the opportunity to um, try these and do work with these because I'm really excited about this. So join me next week for another live demonstration.